Hi everyone, welcome to another 1510 ICC game. We got um, Eman RZ rated 1606 from Argentina. Just kind of um, getting some moves in quickly. I'm familiar with this position. I started opening lines, just a few moves in. Um, I should have a decent position now. <coughs> now, now I need a plan. I wonder what's better here, getting the knight out. Knight c3. Knight d2. I want to play c3 though to like blunt that bishop. Maybe I'll do that first and then take a decision about everything else. Maybe I'll castle first. I want um maybe knight d2. Develop the knight first. I thought castles, knight d2, c3. They're all good moves there. Knight c3 as well. gonna play c3 now. I think that's fine. Um, what can he do? That's forcing. I mean, he can open up lines towards my king, but I'm gonna castle next move if he does take. So I'm gonna go for this. Is um is d5 good now, or do I let him take? D5, C4. If I castle and he just takes, takes. He's gonna get to play on the open E file faster than I can, I think. Um, maybe that's okay. He also gets. Oh no, he doesn't get E E5. Really, he would later. Uh, I, I, I might just play um I might play um d5 with the idea of trying to attack him on the on a queen side something like d5 c4 b4 knight b3 that could work And then he, he'll probably go knight f8, f5. I should be ready for that somehow. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just castle and let him take. I have a nice center. It's defended. And, and then I can push d5 maybe. I don't really like my h3 move that much anymore. And that stop his bishop from coming there, but. Alright. I'm gonna go for that. Just trying to keep his bishop a bit closed in, his dark bishop. So now, c4, b4, c4, b4, or b4 first. <clears throat> I 
Knight f1, knight g3. Maybe I should just castle first, huh? I'm gonna castle first, let's do that. Can't be wrong. Yeah, that's the typical plan. It's so easy to find that plan, isn't it? Knight e8, f5. Once the center is closed, it's probably not too bad. Hmm. I'm gonna go c4. Go on with my own plan. Yeah, okay, so if you take, I'll just take back with whatever piece I, I feel like. Then bishop takes just a few exchanges. My bishop is really bad anyway. Let's go b4. He closes that, he's coming up with g4, h6, g4. <coughs> yeah, typical attack, but hopefully mine is coming quicker. Um, just c5 now should be fine, takes, takes. I should prepare it a little bit. It looks ready though. I'm not sure I'm playing this position to the best of um of what it should be played like, but maybe he's giving me time with King H8 though here. What was the point of playing King H8? I mean, he's yeah, trying to get a knight onto G8 and get his queen in. His queen can't come in. My knight is here. Um, I can actually get my knight onto E6 now if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, maybe it's not bad. Maybe just knight c4 now to add pressure into that d6 square. Open up my bishop. Knight g5, is that a good move? Knight g5. Good idea of going to e6. Hmm. If that bishop wasn't there, it would be fine, but that bishop is there, so. That bishop's also his strongest piece, probably. Okay, I need to do something. Can't keep wasting time. Knight c4. I really want to put my c bishop. Maybe here on b2. Yeah, let's put my bishop on b2 first. If I take and he takes with a knight, I can win a pawn. Rook c1, queen d2. It's my idea is to open this file and try and get something here before he kills my king. Um, I know king's Indian formations. Black's going for the kill of the king, so I can still win a pawn here, right? Um, if he takes with a knight. And if he doesn't take with a knight, it's exactly what I want. 
so I think it's time. Didn't really calculate that to the end. I think that's take with a pawn. Yeah. Um, well. Well, bishop b5 now, so that he can develop his bishop. Hmm. Rook to c1 is probably the, the move though. Okay, he's coming for the kill. Oh, up knight to h2. Is that defending? Why is it so easy to play that position? Uh, I must have gone wrong somewhere. I must have just fallen right into what they want to happen. Yeah, g4 is unpleasant. I'm gonna play knight to h2. Well, F, F3 now. Um, he can get a knight to, to G3 then, but not until quite a few moves go by, right? Maybe knight to G4 is better now. I really want to play knight to g4. I mean, what knight to h4, and then what? I can just take that bishop. No, well, I don't want to take that bishop. I don't think, but maybe I can just take that bishop. Uh, good. Now that bishop's not doing anything right now. I'm just gonna keep my knight here for for that time being, and then do something else. Maybe knight to no knight to f3 is not great, is it? Maybe just try and double up my rooks right now. Um, this rook on c1. What else? What else is a good plan here? Is this knight coming here any good? Complicated. Maybe taking his knight on e8 is a good idea right now, though. This bishop's not doing very much. Maybe putting my bishop on e2. I'm going to trade the bishops, the light square bishops. That might be a good idea. I'm gonna try that bishop to e2. Let's go for that. <coughs> Is 
stops him from playing h5, I think, as well. I, I do seem to recall that their bishop on c8 is the most powerful attacking piece in this kind of formation because they usually sacrifice on h3. He might still do that just now. Okay, he doesn't. What is the plan of that? Not quite sure. I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the bishops. Probably trying to bring the queen in, but if I can get some exchanges in, hopefully this is better for me right now. You can maybe get a knight to g3 at some point, but I'm taking with a knight's probably better there, right? Um, he has to take, otherwise he loses his bishop. Oh yeah? Okay. Um, I can just spin that bishop now, can I? Well, he takes my bishop, I take his queen, he takes my queen. That's not great. Not, not great at all, right? Because my rook will be undefended then, so... Actually, I can't play rook to c7 right now. So I think I will just take... Actually, I can't play rook c7 because of his knight there. Maybe I don't have to take just yet. Maybe rook to. Um, is he trying to play bishop to to b5? I'm gonna take that. I don't like the look of him um, bishop to b5 or something. This knight here, it's not doing very much, is it? Knight to f f3, h. Now you can't play. I know my queen is nicely protecting the h5 square now, so I'm not gonna block that. Um, I mean, I could even play queen to h5 now. But not, not doing much after knight to g7. So I want to put my rook on, up somewhere. Um, c file. No, c4. Yeah, c4. He plays b5, I'll go to c6. Let's do this. Hopefully I have a better position since I've invested so much time. Um, now that his white bishop is gone, I don't see how he's going to sacrifice to try and um, kill my king. So my attack on the queen side should be a lot more meaningful. And if he plays rook to c8, I can play queen to e2 maybe. F3 is probably a good move for him. Try to get his knight onto um, onto um, F4, but he doesn't do that. So queen queen E2, queen F3. So he doesn't play. I'm gonna play queen F3, I think. So he doesn't play um, F F3 right now. I don't want. I don't know what kind of complications I get there. So. Ah, oh, the knight gets in with tempo. Oh, okay, he doesn't do that. Right? It's okay, you can get in your knight because my queen is going to c3. That was the whole point of putting my queen there. I actually get to go to c3. And it's okay. Knight h4, queen c3. What is he doing? <laughs> um, weird. Well, maybe now I should play knight to g4. I think I'm gonna do that. And then he plays 
I think he was, he's just trying to move fast and get me to lose on time, right? Because <laughs> those moves don't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I need a plan. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play knight to f3 next, oh, and I'm gonna try and kick his queen and win that pawn. Um. Or I could get rid of that knight. Exchange it for this knight. This knight is not doing anything. On, on, on. Well, he's protecting that pawn, but not really. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to take. Mm. Gonna go in and infiltrate, I think. I have to move my net back. Still don't wanna take. Maybe back to to the D two. Ah, he can actually win a pawn, can he? Not sure if it's worth it for him though. Hmm. I have to take, right? Running out of time here. The knight, maybe I should play queen to h3. And if he takes my h knight, I can um, take his um, h4 knight first. It's kind of trapped. See, queen to h3, his best move looks like knight takes on g2. Take with my queen and I'm safe. I'm gonna do <clears throat> Takes on h2, I take on uh, h4. You can go back, I suppose. So maybe I should take on h2. Take H four. I 
That knight on h4 is way more dangerous, right? I'm gonna take him. And I might bring my queen to um to the e e7 square. Hope I'm not blundering anything. He's only moved his knight to g4. Yeah, and I'm gonna plan queen to e7. What can he do on queen to e7? He has to be careful here. Um, he can play queen to h5 or queen to h6. Yeah, he can't do that. At the same time, I'm not sure I can leave my queen here. Um, but then I can just play knight to f3 and I'm, my problems are solved, I think. Queen to the h-file, knight. Okay. I can come to the c-file now. I'm gonna do that. I don't think he can checkmate me. <laughs> One minute, time pressure. Again. Um, okay. The point is... I can take on, a, on d6 now, can I? There's no checks, no crazy checks. He's covered attacks. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I mean, I to have three next move. Forty-eight seconds. I'm pretty sure. I'm more and more confident this is a winning position. Oh, yeah. That knight to f3 move. Um, that's a lifesaver. If I didn't have that knight there, that uh, this would be deadly. But I do. So what are you gonna do now? Is um bishop to no it's not on is it? I'm just gonna keep taking the pawns now I think. If he moves his bishop, I'm gonna play bishop to um, e5 check. That should be okay. Simplify to a winning endgame. He brings his queen back. What is your plan here? Is your plan still to exploit my, my time? Just take another pawn. Ooh. Let's go for that. Oh, my pawn is hanging. Okay. Um can do this now, right? He has a check after this. I see that. Twenty one seconds. Ah oh. Oh they work. Oh, lost on time pressure. Terrible. Right, well, let's see what happens. Show my recent games. Examine. That's a shame. Thought I had a good position. Checkmate in one. <laughs> yeah, so closing the position here is just better for him, right? It looks like what he wants and then castling kingside as well he had a good game there um, 
my plan doesn't seem too bad. My advantage is growing more and more. So let's see. Is it because I, I spent too much time? Yes, as long as I didn't blunder anything specifically into the time pressure, um, I'll be happy with my game. A decent position, queen b3 is good. Did this, still okay. Queen h5, yeah, I thought of queen h5. What then, though? Queen h5, knight. What's the queen doing, really? Um, I don't know. Well, it all looks okay so far. So here, um, I dropped my advantage. Uh, Knight takes an h4, should be preferred. G takes an h4, and f3. Just looks scary. I can see why that could be okay though. Here he has an advantage. But after this, the game is equal again. Knight takes an g4. Hasn't been any major blunders yet. So, queen to e6. Yeah, that's not a bad move. Oh, wow, he gets an advantage after that. I thought I was okay here. Queen to e6. Knight to f6. Queen to f3. No, f3. Interesting. Yeah, but he didn't take advantage of that. So, knight to e3. That's working. I lost my queen, right? Yeah. Wow. Nice line. <clears throat> so I can't take that pawn. That's that's where I lose. Queen to f7. Yeah, I did think of queen to f7 and trying to trade queens, but. Yeah. Oh, he didn't punish that though. Look, he had a um, knight takes an f2 here. Really good move. He missed that, but he saw it next. Oh. And here I'm winning. Knight to f3. That is what I did. Yeah, so I did feel like my position was great here. I did. I did definitely feel that. Um, queen to e6 is very, very important here though. After this, the game is equal again. Um, wow, queen takes an f6 check. Ah, oh, wow, that's, that's just killing him. This, and then after he takes this. Wow, I missed that, but I, I had lots of time pressure though, so... What can you do? <laughs> I'm eating one. Well, a shame to be losing and to lose in a winning position, but yeah, I used too much time. Otherwise, maybe I would have found that 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 tactic. Um, it's unfortunate. All right. Well, um, thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow.